Right, it's day two. I've come to the other end this time. Well, in the middle actually. Uh, so, found a few little bits uh, yesterday. Uh, really, it's a new place, it's always taking a bit of time just to get your eye in. Uh, but, uh, unfortunately, we've probably timed it quite badly because the uh, uh, local authorities have been dumping sand on the beach to protect the uh, chalets, uh, which has probably covered up the galt, which explains why it's so sandy. Uh, and we haven't really had any recent rock falls on the uh, uh, Cenomanian side. So, I think today we're going to have a little look down uh, to the left here. Uh, and then we're going to have a look and see if we can find anything in the Geronian side uh, which is going towards the right, up towards Calais um, so uh, it doesn't look quite as hospitable going that way uh, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll find one or two bits, who knows uh, yeah, it's coming down to this is the they call it the bunker so yeah, let's go see what we can find an amazing amount of water coming out of these cliffs. It literally pours out. Absolutely amazing amount of water. Yeah, there's already people on the beach. Uh, not sure what they're looking for, but have a little look and see. So this really is choose your boulder. And uh, have a little attack at the moment because we're not really seeing great deals of signs of ammonites. However, I got one. I don't know if it's got a bit missing, but uh, there's certainly something in there. It doesn't look badly preserved either, to be fair. That I'll try and break it down a little bit. It's in a big rock, but yeah. Split. Is it going to be preserved or not? <laughs> this is the question. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. Uh, not a few ribs off there, which is annoying. But, uh, yeah, clean that centre out. I think we've got one. Nice. Oh. Uh, just leave this one off, and there is something here. Definitely ammonite. Be off there, but it could be in there, so uh, it's a bit flatter than the others. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if it'll come out. Oh, it's a little bit nasty. Got another one. It's a lovely little one. Don't know what species that is. A bit different. on that boulder uh, there. Cool. Right, so I've broken this one open. I see it looked a bit. It's got these little brown flecks on and there. Little ammonite, not a big one, but it's an ammonite indeed. So again, let's see if we can extract it. So yeah, unfortunately this one, some of it came off in the rock and it looks like it's squashed. So yeah, I don't think that's a good one. Never mind. Yeah, so I've bashed this one and unfortunately it's right on the edge. It looks a really nice one that one, but there's another bit showing there I think on the negative so let's have another bash in this in case there's out else in it we'll see I think it's an uh, ancantoceros I think we'll see let's see if we can get out of this is it an echinoid or is it just a blob echinoid or blob place your bets now Some sort of weird uh, coral thing. Lines. See, see, see if there's any lines on it for the Minecraft things, but I'm not sure if it is or not. I don't know. It's filled with sharp chalk or whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, weird. Right. Tunneling machine. A 
one end of it. I don't know if it's uh, if, if we've got one. Have we got one at the other end of Folkestone? I bet there's one in Folkestone as well, isn't there? Well, there's a, there's another segment of the machine. There's that that's like the blade, isn't it? And then there's like a segment. Oh yeah, that's the, the that's, that's the blade, isn't it? Yeah. There we are. There's the other bit of the tunneling machine coming up. It looks bigger for me than it does on camera because it does. Um, they're, they're getting bigger because we're getting closer. Unfortunately, there is a cad jar in front of us, spoiling the view. Homage or Batisseurs du Tunnel. Look at that, we've got a nice clean yeah, there we go. Piece of history there. 27th of April 1989. We've finished fossiling for a bit and we've come to Boulogne, Boulogne sur Mer because it's an ancient walled city. So we're going to have a look at this thing over here, which is Le Cathedral. And there we can see the city walls. It's a bit like being in York, <laughs> but French. Very French. So, yeah. The one thing we've realised is that the French must eat a lot of cake because everywhere you go there is cake. Not just any cake. Patisserie. A fantastic cake. I don't know what cake is in French. Uh... Not only that, but there are crossroads everywhere. You can just walk in, eh? Yeah. Oh. oh, in fact, that is the Cathedral Notre Dame, but not the Paris Notre Dame. Okay, these stones were stone blocks were discovered in 1895, whilst the Port de Calais has been opened. The date from the end of the third century, when they were originally used to build the town's fortifications. Old rocks. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Not quite the rocks we were looking go, for. Go get the S wing, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, slightly old rocks. Is that is that like a cross? No, oh, maybe not. Stick a chiseling one. I think we might get into trouble for that. <laughs> the gendarmerie might get called. Let's go through the portcullis and not die. Oh, look at that. That's where you get your boiling oil and your arrows and all the other bits and pieces that they probably throw at you. Pots and pans, cows, chickens, victims. prepare the vash, <laughs> fetch the <your> vash. <laughs> Quite impressive, oh, is that? Oh, yeah. Don't die. What's this? Paranard Charles Dickens? Cultural appropriation? I'm not having that. Did Charlie, you got everywhere, didn't he? Oh, we're going up the stairs. Up the stairs we go. So, yeah. It's uh, quite a lot of stairs up the old walls. Hmm? Beach York? <laughs> oh, I don't know. There's some nice walls in York. I like the walls in York. You can, you've got a good walk all the way around. It's quite, uh, you know, we've got little, uh, little uh, castellets and little tower things and things you can look in and yeah. <sighs> Although, you know, I don't think you can cycle around the uh, the walls in York, can you? You could ride a horse around them, could you? No. <sighs> There we go. Boulogne some air. That's my pyramids. We've got a very Egyptian theme, which we've been talking about Egypt. We've got some sort of, uh, it's got a name, but we'll call it an obelisk. We've got an ancient pyramid, a step pyramid, and we've got a modern pyramid, but they've put a man on top of it. And I don't know who the man is, but he's wearing a fez. And he's got Sphinx in front of him, Tommy so it must Cooper? be important. Tommy Cooper, is it? I think it is. I think this is an ode to Tommy Cooper. I think you're right. Fantastic. Those French guys have some taste. French guys and gals. I can't believe they've actually got a mon monument to Tommy Cooper. Fantastic. Or oh, fantastique. 
Oh, we found a fossil shop. Bijou Naturels. Lucky jewel. I don't think there'll be any local fossils though. It looks like it's the usual stuff that you get all over the place. The only fossil I can see is on this pendant here. Oh yeah. Where do you think it's from? Could it be, oh god, are we not focusing? Could it be Madagascar? It's a bit small for Madagascar, but I bet, I bet it is. You can get a five euro bag of random rocks of different minerals. It is mainly, it is, they've got lots of amber though. Quite a lot of amber in there. Might even have a bit of Whitby jet. Yeah, but could not. A, could be a, a market opportunity here. Yeah, not really fossils. You could be sending your Dax here, can't Well, yeah, there you go. Dax City, everyone likes a good Dax. Oh, so. We've oh, just wow, had. We the, um, sorry, it's alright. We've just had a very nice beer in that pub over there. Just. Uh, I didn't even get the name, actually. But uh, recommended. It's a very nice pub. Uh, yes, just, just there. In fact, it is. La Cave, the something bar, but it was very nice, very nice beer, a very nice pub. And I have bought myself a rubbish fridge, fridge magnet for the fridge from that little shop. And look at that, lovely little, uh, little, should I say, big building, which I think is the Hotel de Ville. I think that means the town hall. And there's a palace somewhere, maybe that's over there. That lovely building, it's not a patch on Huddersfield train station. <laughs> Crest bus station, that's where it's at. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Have you seen that there? The, the, the sort of frontage of the building, it looks like they're. Yeah, it's like the rest of the building seems to have disappeared. Yeah, they've, just, out, it? they've just left the point, haven't they? Oh, yeah. yeah. That is quite, quite true. It's just the facade. That's the, that's the bar we were at as well, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're here. Final day in uh, Cablonet and a few finds. It's amazing, we've put rocked up and there is so many Belgian cars. All those cars, all those cars are Belgian. That car is French. <clears throat> all the cars over there in the distance, they're all Belgian as well. So this is obviously a hot spot for Belgian fossil hunters. And today it might be the hot spot for some English ones too. Let's hope so. We've had a, a few finds. Uh but not loads. But, uh, a nice uh, pointy thing over there which uh, commemorates the uh, D-Day landings I think. Now you're going to head down to the beach. Anyway. So we have in the distance England! Just to show you, it's not that far away. The white glyphs of Dover. Yeah. Well, must be getting the eye in because that is a Trilites. I didn't know if it was a um, Mariella, but um, Jonas informs me they have dots um, along with the Hypertrilites. So, so, yeah, these are the Trilites, Heteromorph Ammonite. Hopefully, there's a, another whirl going up there. A little spiral, fantastic. Nice, a nice worn away Nautilus. <laughs> so, we're here with uh, fossils de Cablonet. And uh, look at that beastie. Show it, showing us English how it's done. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, my yeah. I wonder how people react when they see like fossil videos in their algorithm on Instagram. <laughs> we never saw an animal like before, like. Oh, I know. Right. There we go. A lovely uh, fossilized uh, crab claw. Uh, there we go. Spotted by the Belgians again. <laughs> We're not doing so well as English, but we, we're trying. That's how we want to work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody ready? There we go. Is it there? Yeah. Ooh, oh, I think it is. Nice. Oh, wow. There we go. 
Oh, that is a nice one. Yeah. Cool. Louis Cicerus. Louis Cicerus. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have thought that were there. From, from, from that side, I would have been quite like that. That might not be there. Yeah. But obviously it is. <laughs> yeah. Well. That's 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 a that is a beast of an ammonite. That we need we need Estwing for, for scale. So the outer world is uh, oh one Estwing. It's not Give quite. Take. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 at least two thirds, if not uh, three quart three quarters of an Estwing wide, just for the outer world. Yeah. Wow. That's a tractor tyre, isn't it? A bit bumpy this road in Calais, but we're doing a, a, a little uh, little tour. A lovely cathedral back there. I and, knew uh, where I was going. And there is a large, large building there, which we have seen before. Oh, and there's a pub up there called Le Nautilus. Le Nautilus? Yes, there is. See it? Yeah. We're not stopping at it, but never mind. <laughs> Oh yeah. The left again, yeah. Yeah. I think we've just been down there, haven't we? We have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turn it, is it straight? Yeah. Ali! We don't want the sun, the sun trivial again. No. We've been there already. We have. <laughs>